What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass and today we have another underwater video. We're gonna show you what these lures look like underwater. Today's drop shot, nose rig drop shot. I got a handful of baits so you guys can see what these baits look like underwater. So much can be learned when you go underwater and see what baits look like subsurface. And drop shots are no different. You know, a drop shot really shines in clear water, light lines, suspending that bait up off the bottom. You know, your smallmouth fisheries, your clear water reservoirs, finesse fishing drop shot. So much can be learned when you can see what this worm looks like. So I got five or six different popular drop shot worms I'm gonna show you today. Now, as far as actions and, and things I want you guys to take away from this footage, we preach it all the time to learn your baits, learn what your bait feels like, learn what your bait looks like, and today's video is gonna help out with that. Drop shot baits, none of them are the same. They're all different, they have different actions, different shapes, different styles. Also, what you'll see today in today's footage is different baits look better worked differently. If that's just dragging and barely shaking, or shaking really quickly, real erratically, or actually hopping, hopping the bait. Get that bait up there, moving around, dancing around. Pay attention, I do all these different techniques on these baits so you guys can see which style you like best. First worm up, the six inch robo worm. Let's take a look at that footage. The Robo Worm has been in my arsenal for many, many years. Comes in great colors. We've showed you underwater videos in the past on shaky heads, how they float. They got a lot of action. For me, the Robo Worm is a better worm, just kind of slowly working. Let that longer profile kind of just dance in the current, dance in that water, let it move it around. You get real erratic with it. It doesn't look as good as when you're just barely moving, barely shaking. Next worm up is gonna be the Reaction Innovations Flirt. This is actually the 4.95 size. It comes in a larger size, but today's video is the 4.95 size. Again, all these colors, I pick colors that hopefully you guys can see better underwater, uh, you know, that contrast in the water, really show up. Uh, down below in the video description, we will link all of the products used, the colors we recommend. Also, to keep this as fair as possible, all the baits were rigged identically the same. This is actually a trocar nose hook, and we rigged it with a tungsten quarter ounce drop shot weight. We will link some of our other favorite uh, terminal tackle down below as well. Now getting back to this flirt worm, a lot of good action. Check out the footage.
This worm specifically out of all of them really caught my eye. <laughs> Matt and I, we've both watched this footage and uh, I think we both said, man, we need to be fishing the, uh, the flirt a lot more. You can fish it real erratically, you can fish it slow and it looked good no matter how you fished it. Next worm up is gonna be the Crosstail Shad by Jackal. Now this is a bait that has a flat belly and it's got a little ridge of a tail to really get movement in that tail. This bait has been good for me in the past. I've, I grew up using it on our Clearwater Reservoirs here in Northern California. The Jackal Crosstail Shad is a good drop shot worm. Let's check out that footage. So with all of these worms, it's funny, you know, looking at this footage, the uh, the nose rig drop shot just doesn't look as good as a straight shank drop shot. You know, when you have that worm rigged through the head, turned over and Texas rigged back into itself, it keeps that front of that worm very straight. As you can see in some of this footage, the, the hook turns over, it lays over, the bait flips over, um, but the jackal crosstail shad, I've caught a lot of fish on and it is a fish producing bait. Next bait up is gonna be the Robo Worm Sculpin. It is a four inch bait. It comes with some really cool colors that really show up in clear water. Let's check out that footage. So the sculpin, like, unlike these other worms, has a lot of detail in that worm. So the clear water, real good visibility, you know, big spotted bass, your big small mouth, those clear water fisheries, that sculpin just looks like 
a real natural bait fish. You know, this worm really shined being fished more erratically. It looks like a dying shad, popping it up, letting it fall, letting it kind of spiral down. The Sculpin is a bait you guys should check out. Next up is a bait that uh, I haven't actually had a chance to fish yet. Just shot the underwater footage, but we've had a ton of people rave about this bait right here. Now this is the Big Bite Baits Smalley Smasher. Again, like the crosstail shad, it's got a flat belly, so you rig it, the, ridge, the ribs facing up, a lot of big tail action with this big paddle tail right here. Got the ribbed action kind of like the missile baits, just adds a little bit more vibration, a little bit more action in the water. Check out the footage. Next bait we're going to talk about is the Strike King Dream Shot. Now this is Matt's favorite drop shot bait. He just spent the last several months on the road traveling all over the Midwest, up in the Great Lakes, and the Dream Shot is by far his favorite drop shot bait. Little slender profile, you can see how it tapers down towards the tail, get a lot of really good subtle action, and you could also work this bait very quickly, get erratic action, and it looks great. The last bait in today's underwater video is gonna be this guy right here. This is actually another bait by striking. This is the half shell. Just like the, the Smalley Smasher and the Jackal, it's got a flat belly. So you wanna rig the ribs and the, and the tail fin facing up. You want the hook to come through just like that. And I've talked about this in several drop shot videos. You know, for a long time, I would take a, a Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver and cut it in half and that would make my two drop shot baits. It uh, just has a bluegill or a bait fish profile, you know, small crappie, small bluegill, some type of pan fish. It just has more of a, a bait fish profile. And I have caught so many fish using this guy right here. This is the Strike King Half Shell. Let's take a look.
So there you guys have it, another underwater video. This time we're talking drop shot. You know, it's a finesse technique. You wanna make sure that you're using light line. You wanna make sure that your worm is sitting straight. You got everything lined up and looking the best as possible for those clear water presentations. You know, small mouth, big spotted bass, big large mouth, they get to sit and analyze these baits when they're soaking in front of their face. You know, the drop shot, you have the weight on the bottom, you got the bait suspended up in their face. They get a real good look at it, especially if you're working it slow. So it's very important to rig your worm straight, very important to learn what type of action your worm has and how to best produce bites with it. As you can see, they all have different actions underwater. So maybe you're fishing your bait a little too quickly. Maybe you're fishing it not quickly enough. Hopefully today's video showed you guys what these baits look like and how they look best. Either dragging, hop hopping, shake, 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 real aggressive shakes or big hops or just slowly dragging like I said. Hopefully you guys have been following this whole underwater series. You know, we've taken a lot of baits and went subsurface with it. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I will link some of them up here in the, in the corner and down below in the video description. Also, all these baits, all the tackle, rods, reel, all the gear will link down below in the video description for you so you don't have to go uh, find it. I know some of you guys like the real close up pictures of the baits. If you click those links, you'll have a HD picture of all the stuff that we're talking about. Again, so much to learn underwater. I learned a few things about the baits that I throw and how I can throw them better and uh, hopefully put more fish in the boat. As always guys, we appreciate you. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we do three videos a week for you, sometimes four, we throw in a bonus, but it's strictly teaching to help you guys become better anglers. We appreciate you guys. Have a good one.